the name of God, the compassionate and merciful. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new episode of the Fact Series, in which we discuss international political matters every week. This is Fahd Mahdavi, and in this episode, I have the honor of being the host of Dr. Randy Short, a social commentator and international activist from Washington, D.C. We are here to discuss the decline of American power. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Thank Randy you. Short, and good to be with you. Uh, recently, Sanders confessed that last year at least 6,000 people died in America because they didn't have the money to go to the doctor. Uh, he also added that in America, one out of every five patients does not have the money for their medicine, which often results in the death of well, that patient. It shows, what does this again, confession show? It's, it's a type of corruption, my friend. One of the reasons that we don't have health care for everyone in the United States, uh, if you contrast the United States with Europe, you'll find America falls behind practically all the European countries in terms of, uh, of HDMI uh, st standards and statistics. Well, why? Why is it so? It's very simple. The Social Security that Americans have, which was passed in the 1930s, almost was not made law in this country the compromise for social security to be made to take care of people in their old age is that black domestic workers who raise white people and literally the people drank the the milk from the breast of black women were not to be taken care of in their old age they were to die poor and the blacks who picked the cotton and the tobacco were not to receive social security. In other words, your racist, bigoted, Nazified, or Anglo-Nazi type whites here are unwilling. They have such hatred for the people like me in this country, they're willing to deny tens of millions of whites health care as a means to prevent blacks from getting a benefit. That's how bad this country is. We, we're so hated, they, don't, they hate me more than they hate you. They hate the people who were enslaved and who were conquered and whose land was stolen, as it says, I am black and I am Indian. To make certain that our numbers don't grow, to make certain that we're always only maybe 10% of the population because there is a understanding if we were strong and healthy, we might fight them back for our rights. And this is an ongoing situation in the country of don't do anything for black people. That's why 22 million people can come to this country, get jobs, get social services, get education paid for. And that's been denied my people who built this country and whose land was stolen to make this country. Are you understanding me? And so Sanders, by the way, is opposed to reparations. So he's a, a hypocrite and he's a yeah. racist. And I say that. If he supports reparations for Jews, which he's Jewish, and he doesn't think we should get it, 12 years of Hitler, we've had 400 years of everybody, and nothing should be done about this. So Sanders is dishonest. So the real issue, my friend, the people who have been exploited and oppressed here for hundreds of years that made this country should be repaired. Health care should be a given, but just like with health care they don't want, what they've replaced that with is abortion. You'll find there's so much money. One in three of the babies aborted in the United States is black. That's genocide, my friend. Uh, they'll let almost anyone come to this country except for people that look like me. They make it harder. There's this concept of this invented concept of race of white and black, and black has to be kept down and punished and denied. And like homelessness in America, blacks are maybe 15% of the population. We are 50% of the homeless. We're about 50% of the people incarcerated. All of this points to how extremely racist and biased and which is society in particular, it's the elites. They're at war with the people that they have exploited and stolen from for hundreds of years. So health, if you look at health care, you look at every disparity, you'll keep finding 
who are disproportionately impacted by these disparities. They'll keep coming up black, black. It'll keep, and it's not our fault. We don't run the society. So someone structured a society where these kinds of inequities are a given. Yet the same country will fund Israel where health care for everyone is, is a right, including the black Israelis. Let's jump to uh, the upcoming presidential election of the U.S. As you mentioned something, I would like to uh, have your rich words about what does the fate of the U.S. presidential election mean to Iran? And the main question here is what position each of uh, these candidates has on Iran and how far things can change in terms well, of... Well, let me just say this Iran, to you. If any of them Bernie, comes to power. Bernie Sanders... Uh, will never be president of the United States. It's never going to happen. So if you're looking at Bernie Sanders, I'm not anti-Sanders. Uh, Sanders says a lot of stuff better than other people. America's not going to go for socialism, and they're not going to have a socialist Jewish president. It's not happening. That's not my feeling. I'm just speaking for the huge number of white people <clears throat> who feel like Jewish people have too much in this country, they're not going to let them have the presidency too. And be a socialist, we'll have a revolution first. I mean, these, these people are buying guns right now <clears throat> with corona. If We're never going to have a socialist be president. This, this country will be a bloodbath first. It's never going to happen. Forget Sanders. Now let's get to Biden. Biden is a racist. Biden has dementia. Biden's son is a corrupt, crack-smoking, philandering liar, thief, as is Biden's brother. <clears throat> Biden's deceased son, Joe Biden Jr., is allegedly a bisexual <clears throat> in Delaware who allowed black men like me to be ritually murdered. It's called lynching in Delaware. The people in Delaware know. If... If Biden thinks that black people will vote for him when they find out a person with his name, his namesake, allowed black people to be murdered like animals and hung from trees, and Biden needs, every Democrat needs, 92% of the black vote and at least 60% turnout to be competitive. I can assure you, my friend, you could pull a gun on me, I would not vote for Biden. Biden has been a career racist against black people. He's been against education for black people. He created the mass incarceration genocide bills that have destroyed millions of black people. He'll never be president of the country. They'll stay home or they'll vote for Trump. You want to know who the president's going to be? You're looking at him. Four more years. Figure it out. My suggestion to the people in Iran my suggestion to the Supreme Leader, God bless him, peace be on him. They really need to have a conversation. And I suggested this when I was in Iran. And of course, I understand when you travel and you talk to people in Iran, there's still a bias. White matters more than black. What I told folks is, you need to start educating through your Iranian media the dangers of tack fury Christianity. You've got to have this conversation. And the people are too polite to do it. So as a result, there are people who think they're serving God wanting to nuclear annihilate you. And hey, what can you do? I mean, <laughs> I deal with prejudice here and I deal with it there too, because you know, my opinion, I guess, doesn't count. I'm not at a big white university and I can't be at a big white university because I talk to people like yourself. That means I'm not going to be in a prestigious place that you can look up to to listen. But I'm telling you straight, my friend, people need to be educated to the, the infiltration and weaponization of Christianity, which is dangerous to America. And Iran could do it. Um, Iran's leadership... You have the wrong people talking to your supreme leader. You have the wrong people talking to Rouhani. The Iranian leadership needs diversified 
a diversified asymmetrical philosophical approach to talking to the West. Don't push your religion. I'm a Christian. I don't care to stop being one. When the Supreme Leader had the world's attention and started telling people to study Islam, if people have been brainwashed to hate Islam, that's a non-starter. What the Supreme Leader and others need to do is really teach the history of Iran, teach the history of America and the Middle East, and actually use the uh, interfaith uh, back channels to challenge people to say, hey, look, you're a Christian, thou shalt not kill. Doesn't that count for Iranians who die due to the lack of medicines or Iranians that die in planes that crash? Okay, Iranians who can't get uh, things for their business or when it causes food shortages, right? Um, thou shalt not bear false witness against our neighbors. Well, isn't it false witness if they teach that Iran is an international export of terrorism when well, we've got bases in 190 countries? There's a way. But the way that the Iranian leadership is chosen, forgive me, it's culturally arrogant. They should have gotten other people in the world to help them shape a message that would make sense to people in England, in France, in the United States. The failure to do so, and I had this conversation with Iranians five years ago, blow me off. The problem will get worse until you at least learn how to get your point across. Between the time that I had this conversation, they pulled press TV and other things out. People can't even get your information. Very precious time has been squandered because uh, there is an issue where and people don't have the kind of open inquiry and, and, and dialogical challenges. The Israelis who you're competing with, They'll work with and talk to anyone. The Iranian have not been very sophisticated in, in terms of their soft power public di diplomacy. They need to do that. The Iranian media should be playing all the suffering of the Yemeni people, the locusts, uh, what's happened in Syria. This hasn't really been explained, and trust me, our conglomerated media will not do it, okay? It will not. Our conglomerated media won't do it. The BBC won't do it. The French media won't do it. The Canadian media won't do it because they have a strong, if not a predominant, Zionist bias. So uh, that's what Iran has to do. Iran has great media. It's not used properly. It's underutilized. It's a tragic. I talk to other Iranians. We shake our heads and say, wow, that people don't have to die in this kind of combat. But if a war comes and people willfully or arrogantly refuse to heed advice from other people who don't want to steal your oil, who don't hate you, who aren't against the Supreme Leader, who don't have a problem with the Islamic uh, Revolution in Iran. If what we're trying to tell you as brothers and sisters doesn't penetrate your brain, we have a saying, what the mind doesn't hear, the buttocks will feel. Uh, you hint to the uh, corona outbreak, uh, you say something. I would like to say that. How much has the corona outbreak affected this election? As far as I understood, Louisiana was the first state in the U U.S. to suspend the elections uh, look, uh, this, in the Democratic Party look, because of the, the corona The Democratic outbreak. Party doesn't want uh, how do you think Sanders. They want a coronation of this, this uh, person who's allegedly into pedophilia and all kinds of debauchery, who, who has dementia and he hates black people. They want to make Biden the Democratic nominee. There was a call by the little, um, his name is, is Clyburn. Uh, um, we call him Uncle Fuckus. Um, the House Majority Whip uh, Clyburn of South Carolina called for the Democrats to cease all the primaries before this corona thing got to the stage it is, meaning that the Democrats wanted to end the primaries, so this is a wonderful way to just do it. Biden's going to be the nominee. There was nothing Democratic about it, okay? He has dementia. He's a sexual predator, many people feel. 
he's a racist, uh, but they want him. He's inept, he's incompetent, he doesn't know what to say any more than Trump does. He's, I mean, he's really having a mental decline in real time, everyone can see it. The Democrats don't need to have the primaries. There's been a call for the primaries to be suspended by this um, Uncle Tom, or we call him Uncle Fuckus, uh, a Clyburn, who we also call Coonburn or Clanburn. He's a black from South Carolina that looks like um, a black butler with no hat on. These people didn't want to have the primary because they want to make certain that Biden gets it. So the corona helps the Democrats make certain that they don't have this socialist independent running as a Democrat win the nomination. By the way, they cannot have the primaries. If you really were to study the elections, Donald Trump is getting more votes in many states than most of the top Democrats combined. When they had the first Super Tuesday, Donald Trump had more votes in most of those states than the top Top three or four Democratic folks combined. Normally in primaries in America, the Republicans don't turn out in such big numbers, right? Donald Trump had massive numbers in Texas. He had more votes than the Democrats in California of all places. He's going to win. He slaughtered the people in the primary. Running, not running against them, he had more votes. Among Republicans, he had like an average of like 95%. Everybody that runs against him can't even get more than like 5%. I think it's 96% of the Republicans that even voted. They already voted for Trump. The Democrats are broken up. I mean, they're all clowns. I mean, this woman, I, I call her Klan Butcher from Minnesota. She, she's a racist that throws black people in jail. Kamala Harris, or we call Kamala. I mean, she's a racist. Um, she's an Indian. She's not even a black uh, who threw black people in jail. That's what she did with her career. Joe Biden throws black folks in jail, okay? So uh, all the people running, they're clowns. Booty check. I mean, he's a, 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 a professed gay man, racist. All the people that they ran were clowns that nobody likes. No one likes these people. No one respects them. People didn't even go out and vote. The voter levels among Democrats was very low this year. People don't care about the people that they're running and they don't care about Joe Biden. There's a segment of the population that's been whipped up by this anti-Trump media that just hate Trump so much. If Donald Trump gave them a million dollars, they would leave it on the street because that's, that's how they've been whipped into such hate. But Trump is popular. The coronavirus, now that Trump and them are doing stuff, his support in America has jumped to 55%. It's the highest ever. He's, he's made of Teflon. Stuff doesn't stick to him. I know that's hard for people to hear in the Islamic country, the way he talks about Islam and says stuff about people in the travel bans. Every time somebody does something to Trump, it bounces off like Superman. <laughs> he's going to win. He's going to win bigger this time than last time. And the corona is not going to impact him. He's, in fact, they may suspend elections and he'll still be president. This really, you're stuck with him. And I'm glad. And they're going to convict Hillary Clinton. You need to understand this. Now that she's going to have to show these emails, they found all the lies. What they did in Libya, the pedophilia and human trafficking in Haiti. This is all going to be known. This whole Russia thing's going to be exposed. I need to just bring to your attention, I live a mile, less than a mile from where the man Seth Rich, the guy who leaked uh, the emails and on the Democratic Party's fraud, uh, he was killed less than a mile from this house I'm sitting in. I was on the same street as him the night he was killed. These things are going to come out. When this comes out, the Democratic Party will face a, 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 such a disastrous loss because they have their heads up their buttocks. The American public does want, they would love better than Trump, but the Democrats have presented nothing. If you ask me for ice cream and I give you horse manure, are you gonna eat? No, they've offered the American public that wanted change something worse than what they had. It's never gonna happen. Get used to Trump. I told people on Press TV Trump would win they didn't have me back on. That's their problem. Trump won. 
uh, what's his name? Uh, Neder Taleb today. I told him Trump's going to win. Trump's Trump, of course. People need to understand something, and I'll repeat this. Donald Trump, to many people, embodies the spirit and soul of this group called white people, which is the majority of the people in America, or at least at least 50, 55, 60 percent. And in the elections, I would say maybe maybe 40 percent of Americans vote, maybe 50 percent of Americans vote. Trump's got a solid handle on more than 50 percent of those that are going to vote. So I don't know what media you're following. I know that these people lie so much. They won't tell you that Donald Trump has put more money in black colleges, that Donald Trump is popular among a lot of Spanish speakers because they're tired of the gangsters and thugs who murder, rape, and traffic their children. You don't hear that. These folks like Trump. He's going to win. He's going to win big. It's going to be like Nixon in 1972. People are not going to be able to believe how badly uh, he beat Biden. Biden, I don't know if you saw, on the night of Super Tuesday, his mind is so bad. He confused his wife with his sister on live television. Now, either he sleeps with his wife and his sister, which is, is, is awful, or... <laughs> He can't tell them apart. That's still a bad thing because if she spends the night, she might wake up and he's right next to her. That's not going to get anywhere. Trump and the other people, they're going to beat this man over the head with his his past that is more racist than Trump ever was. Uh, Biden supported the war on Yemen. Biden was helping to do the war in Syria. Biden helped do the this this corruption and this war in Ukraine. Biden was with this war in Libya. Uh, yes, he was. Um, when you look at this and you look at the fact that Biden supported the Iraq war, the Afghanistan war, and other wars, Trump will kill him. He he cannot. I don't know if they're giving him extra doses of primogen. Mm -hmm. It's like an anti-Alzheimer uh, drug. They're going to have to give him that and steroids every day. Trump will bury him. He's already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Trump will be president for the next four years. Okay. Thanks for joining us again, dear Dr. Randy Short. Dear audience, it was another talk with Dr. Randy Short, a social commentator from Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching and goodbye.